Mr. Transformers 96 here with another video, and I'm going to be talking about a newly shown Hot Toys figure, and this time we have uh, from the Captain, Mar Captain Marvel movie, Captain Marvel. So yeah, so overall this is quite an exciting uh, figure that was been shown from Hot Toys. Um, quite a lot going on with this figure, which is very exciting. Uh, yeah, I, I am looking forward to the movie quite a bit. Um, I don't, I, if I had to guess, this will definitely be the only figure that they make from Captain Marvel. I don't think that they'll make anybody else. Um, some villains would be cool, but I just, I don't see that happening. Uh, but overall, the figure looks really nice. It's kind of an all-encompassing Captain Marvel. We see, like, a lot of companies are making just a ton of versions of Captain Marvel. This one seems to have everything that you need in the Captain Marvel figure. Um, the only thing that they might do is they might give us the green version, the Kree kind of outfit version. Um, that would be interesting. Uh, but, I, again, I doubt it. I think that mainly this is what we're going to get. So let's get into it. Starting off with that head sculpt, um, with uh, Brie Larson's head sculpt. Overall, I think it's okay. It, it's really just in the okay section. Um, Hot Toys has certainly improved with their women face sculpts uh, as the time has gone on, um, but they're still not perfect. Every now and then they nail it, but uh, they do fall, falter sometimes. And this is an okay one. I definitely see the resemblance to Brie Larson, and uh, you know, I like I see who they're trying to capture here. Um, but there's really not a single angle where I'm like that's dead on. Um, every angle, you know, there's not another. There's not an angle though where I think it looks terrible either. Really, just from all angles, it just looks okay. I see the resemblance, but it, it's definitely not um, of the Hot Toys quality that we're, we kind of hope and expect for. Um, so just personally, I think that it's just off a little bit on every angle. Uh, like, you know, it looks all right. You know, like, I can certainly see that they're trying to do Brie Larson, but uh, it's not perfect in my opinion. But it, none, it, it's not bad enough where it would stop me from, like, getting the figure because of the head sculpt or anything like that, though. It's just okay. Um, she does come with a secondary head sculpt, though, as you can see, in her uh, with her mask on, which I think is very cool. I definitely like the mohawk that comes out the top. Um, with her mask on, I really don't see it as Brie Larson either, though. And I don't know if that's just because the mask is on, um, but it, it, that... With the mask on, it looks like it could be anybody. I, I really... It doesn't look like Brie Larson's under that mask. With, like, Captain America and everything, I see Chris Evans under that mask. But here, I, I, I just don't see Brie Larson. Um, maybe it's the lack of, like, the hair, because the hair comes up the front. I don't know what it is. Um, but it just it just kind of... It doesn't look like that, in my opinion. Um, but overall, the suit looks really nice. I definitely like the, uh, the, the look of it. It definitely screams Captain Marvel, and it looks like it's proportioned very well. It doesn't look like it's very awkward in any poses or anything like that. Um, my only issue with it is, I'm sure it's going to be very limited pose-wise, uh, just based on the material that, they are, that they're using with these, like, skin-tight um, bodysuits. Uh, usually, the articulation isn't great with Hot Toys. You have to get, like, uh, the, the material that they use for Black Panther worked quite well. Um, but this does not look like that material. This looks a little bit more like their Batman-style rubber material, um, which will definitely hinder articulation. So I don't see you getting great poses with her, which is definitely disappointing, I must say. Uh, as far as what she comes with... You do get quite a lot. Now, there are two different versions, a deluxe and a regular. Going over what you get with the regular version, you get the Brie Larson head sculpt, of course, and the Aaron Changeable head sculpt with the mask. Um, I don't know if you get two different styles of hair, or if that's if this is the same hair, but I just I don't see that happening. This this has to be like a translucent hair piece, and this has to just be like a, a regular hair piece. So I do believe you get two separate pieces of hair, and the translucent one is able to light up, which I think is really cool. I think it, it definitely has a great look to it, and uh, it's something that is really unique. Um, you get a, a large supply of hands. Most of them are your pretty standard hands, except for this one, the, the kind of... Um, uh, recognition. You, you see her using it uh, in the um, in some of the flashbacks when she is a fighter pilot, at least in the trailer. So I think that's a nice hand sculpt and it's something that's definitely unique. She comes with a couple of blast effect pieces. She comes with a blue interchangeable hand and then this kind of swirling blast effect that wraps around her arm, which I think is cool. And then she comes with a, uh, uh, a kind of blast effect that is almost radiating like heat or, or energy down her arm. Um, I think that this looks really nice. I like it quite a bit. And her hands do light, light up as it seems so you can get some really nice looking uh, kind of energy uh, effects from her and then she comes with a pretty standard base with a flight pole which is quite nice the exclusive version comes with an extra blast piece that can be put on her hand to make it look like she's shooting out now unfortunately I think that that's the best blast effect piece so it's a shame that that has to be like that that has to be a, a deluxe version you know um, but I do think that it's really cool then she comes with her cat goose who will play a significant part in the movie. Um, Goose looks alright. It, it 
doesn't look like a super realistic cat, but it looks realistic enough. And then she comes with her fighter pilot jacket. I don't know how often she's going to wear that with this suit. Like, I, I would imagine that she'll wear that in other scenes, but, like, with this suit, I, I don't know. Um, there was a Marvel Legends figure, though that had her in her Captain Marvel suit with that jacket on, so at, at least at one point in the movie she must wear that. The jacket, in my opinion, I don't, like, out of all the exclusive items, that's not something that I'm into. The jacket's just, eh. Goose is okay. The Blast of Piece is the coolest one, in my opinion. Um, this has gone on pre-order, of course. Uh, the deluxe version is going to retail for $266. The standard version is, I believe it's like $22 cheaper or something. Um, for $22, it's worth it to get the deluxe, I'd say, because uh, uh, the Blast Effect piece, cat and jacket, that's a nice, decent amount of stuff that you get on top of it. The only issue is the price is very expensive for the deluxe. $266, you're, you're closer to $300 than you are $200 at that price, and for just a standard figure, that's a little high. The only thing, though, I can say is she comes with a lot of stuff. She really does. You do get two head sculpts, and then there are quite a few light up features in this figure so uh, like I definitely see it being a little bit more expensive like that's okay um, but just looking at the price alone it, it is quite expensive um, for just a standard size figure uh, so I, I definitely like to see that price be a little bit uh, less now if the head sculpt was like perfect you know uh, I could probably justify that price a little bit more than I can with the head sculpt being so 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 you know um, but yeah overall I think it looks like a really nice figure do I plan to get it to be honest I probably won't get it I've kind of um I've become very picky when it comes to Hot Toys figures, simply because they raise their price to a level that I feel is a little unsustainable for me. Like, I, like I was okay doing it at like 220, but now that they've gone up to like 240, 250 per figure, I'm really selective. Just because when I get a figure, I don't enjoy it as much as I should for how much I pay for it from Hot Toys. Um, you know, there was a time where that I certainly did, but now with the higher prices, I just I, I don't feel like it's worth it anymore. To be quite honest, um, so I probably probably won't get her, although I think it's a great looking figure. I think that I'll probably limit my collection to more villains. That's what I've been doing over this past, like, year. I used to get every single Marvel hero, and uh, a couple years ago this would have been a must-have, but at this point, I don't think it's a must-have for me personally. Um, but yeah, you know, if Hot Toys lowers their prices, uh, I probably would get more into them, because they just, they'd become a little bit more worth it to me. But yeah, overall, that's my thoughts on this new Captain Marvel figure. It is certainly a very nice figure, and uh, you do get quite a lot with it, which is very cool. I'd love to see them do some other figures from the line, um, particularly uh, Jude Law's character. Um, I think that if they made Jude Law based on what I'm kind of buying from Hot Toys, I think that I would probably get him. Uh, but overall, we'll have to see, and I am very excited for the movie. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this figure, and thanks so much for watching.